Alright, so today will be my first episode of my How to Make a Roulette site. So there's going to be a few things you're going to need. You're going to need FileZilla, PuTTY, the script, and Desktop Authenticator. All the links for those will be down in the description as well as my uh, link for DigitalOcean. If you sign up for that link, if you deposit $5, you'll get $15 in your account, so you get a, basically a free two months. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to create a drop-in on DigitalOcean with this button right here. So it takes a minute to load up usually. But when it loads up, I'll show you guys how to set it up and how to name it. So you're going to click on Debian. This is very important. On the old one, you used Ubuntu. Now you're going to use Debian. And you're going to select 1.7 or uh, 7.11 x64. So when you do that, I'll just do the $5 a month because that's really all you need. And then pick the closest server to you, any of these. And you're going to name it uh, whatever. So this will be mine. And we will create that. So it'll start loading up here, and you should get an email shortly with the login. Uh, I just want to tell you guys more information about this. I will be setting up sites for people if you contact me through Steam. Uh, the link for that my Steam URL will be in the description. Leave a comment on my profile why you added me, and just tell me if you're looking to buy a site, and I can set it up for you for skins or PayPal, whatever you prefer. Uh, we also offer some other stuff, but those, those are the main two. But this script isn't too hard to set up, so if you guys want to try it, just let me know. Um, so, once we have all that, we are going to copy this IP into PuTTY. Make sure the port is 22. And you're going to say open. And you're just going to say no to this. And we're going to log in as root. And now we're going to get our email and check. We just got an email from DigitalOcean. And this password here, we're going to copy. So control C, or you can just right click and copy. And then paste it into a uh, putty window, you right click. Okay, so now you just right click again to paste it in. And you type in your new password. This will be the password you get into your putty. You're gonna retype this again. So once you do that, you're basically done. So Okay, you're basically done setting up the VPS. So now you're just going to copy these commands. All these will be down in the uh, paste bin in the description. So you're going to do apt get update. I'm pasting these off my second monitor, but you guys will have a link in the description. Apt get upgrade. Uh, for this, you're going to push Y, enter. Some of these will take a little bit, uh, especially if you just made it because they're just going to get all the updates and make sure your VPS is running good. Uh, if you have any issues with any of this stuff, like the links not work or the commands not working, just leave a comment down below and I can help you guys out. Uh, for this episode, or for this series, I am kind of want to do two or three episodes, I'm not really sure yet. Leave a comment down below if you guys want me to make longer episodes with more information or like shorter ones uh, that are easier to follow. Just leave a comment down below and let me know. Uh, or contact me in Steam if you need help, anything like that. So now that that's done, you're going to copy the next one. So you're going to install MySQL. And you're going to do yes, you would like to con continue. Uh, now we're going to type in a password for my MySQL. So I'm just going to make this one the same. And you're going to repeat it. This shouldn't take too long. So I can also speed this up, up this uh, installs up if you guys want that in the next episode. Because some of those are a little bit longer to install. But I think if you guys can like see how fast it actually takes, you guys can be reassured if it's taking you a long time or something. So we're going to install Apache 2 now. And this is going to be the last one for this little set we're going to install. And we're going to push Y and then enter. I'm going to paste in this last one right here, and then Y, enter. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go to DigitalOcean and go to Networking. And it says no, there's no domains here, so we're going to enter the domain we have. So mine just happens to be onebigcsgo.com. 
and make sure you got it all right. Add domain. So we've just added this domain and we are going to Do this and directs to this one. Create record. Okay, so that will redirect to our this site, which this is just a basic web page now until we get all the files put in. So now what we have to do is we have to go to what our uh, domain provider, which for me is GoDaddy, and they'll go here and they'll do manage DNS to get to that page. That's just your domain's page, by the way. And you'll do name servers and you'll change it to these three name servers. So once you do that, you just push save, and it could take up to 24 hours to change, but after those 24 hours, it'll for sure, if you type in your URL, it'll take you to this page. But we're gonna put the files in so it won't come up as this anymore. So we'll go back to Putty now, and just confirm that all this installed. Uh, so the next thing we have to do is we have to install phpMyAdmin. So we're gonna do, I have to get phpMyAdmin, yes. Now for this, we're going to make sure our red thing is over Apache 2, we're going to push space, tab, and then enter. We're going to select no for this. And now we're going to do this next command, it's a pretty long one, so I would for sure copy this one from the description or the little uh, pastebin. Um, do that. Wait, sorry, I actually put the slash in front of it. That's in my little notes, but I'm not supposed to do that. So there's that without the slash. You want to continue. This one might take a little bit of time. So I'm not sure if I speed it up, that's why. So once this is done, we can start uploading files. So guys, next thing we're going to, so that's just finished, now we're going to do, we're gonna go here, oops, that's not what I wanted, okay, so we're going to copy the domain, or the IP address here, we're going to paste that in for host, the username is for everyone is going to be root, the password will be whatever you changed it to in the beginning, and port will be 22, uh, for this you'll say okay, so you're going to go back to the root directory here and you're going to find your var folder, www folder. You're going to delete this index file. You'll say yes. So now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the roulette scripts here. There's the script folder. Hold on, I just moved the... here. You guys are going to get the file like this, so I'll just extract it again. Okay, here we go. Scripts. So now you're just going to copy everything except for the bot, and you're just going to drag that over right there. It shouldn't take too long. The last file usually takes a little bit, but it shouldn't take too long. You see down here there's only 40 files left. It uploads pretty quickly from my internet. That could vary for you depending on how good your internet is. And mine seems to be done. So now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go right click prices here and go to file permissions and type in 777 and then do OK. Now once that's done there, we're going to go to cache and we're going to do the same thing. But we're also going to check this box right here. Hit OK. So once that's done, you're going to go to your um, folder here, let me find it real quick, etc, you're going to find Apache 2, sites available, and, oh yeah, sorry, I'm looking at my uh, notes here, so I stay on track, and you're going to open this default folder, and on line 11, it'll say allow override none, you'll change this to all that. And you'll say yes. And I think that's where we're going to stop it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching and we'll pick it up with episode 2 
probably in probably either tomorrow or the next day so thank you guys for watching please like comment and subscribe